Why should we care about mathematical formalism? So in this course, as you might have seen, in a, or, or else you will see, uh, there is a big emphasis in mathematical formalism. And I use it as a way to just um, make you think about how to represent algorithms in a, a more concise way, but also, very importantly, a very precise way. Um, I would like you to direct to this uh, short video um, by Leslie Lamport, where Leslie Lamport is being interviewed uh, in Microsoft Research. And I'll leave the, the link uh, to this video in the description below. And please watch it because it's, it's I like it because it's giving students, um, the interviewer is asking Leslie Lamport for, um, for advice to undergraduate students. And the big emphasis that Leslie Lamport says is that students should, should really be in, in a university, you should be focusing on improving your mathematical reasoning and abstract thinking. Um, that's what your, your education should be about, because really, in the end, everything like technological that you will learn, you will learn when you get to the job. It's really impossible to cover that because every company has a different uh, technological stack and different requirements. Um, which so so it's it's really not what the university is is uh, directed at. Uh, for that, you would have to have one university per uh, job, right? So really, what you want to have and what you want to cultivate in a university is really abstract and mathematical reasoning, so that you are better prepared to handle complex systems. Um, and please follow this link and watch it. It's like a one minute and a half. It's not long. Uh, there's more about the the video, but this short part that I'm interested um, is only like a minute and a half long. Um, Leslie Lamport is a Turing Award, which is the highest uh, distinction for a computer scientist. He won that award in 2013 for his contributions in distributed systems, um, he, where he talked about causality and logical clocks. Uh, he's also the creator of TLA, which is a a very interesting tool to prove the correctness of algorithms. Um, also, if you ever used LaTeX, Lamport was the one who created the tool as on top of tech. So that's also another achievement of Leslie. Um, and then I, I just want to talk or re-emphasize the importance of having a good, having formal mathematical formalism. It's really this, what I want to convey is that you, it's, it's a way to describe algorithms formally uh, so that you have no ambiguity. It's really the, the biggest focus so that there's no questions about what does this mean. That should be really uh, precise and, and ob objective. Uh, there's also a big emphasis in notation. This you will see that in actual today's video. Uh, I want to condense information as much as possible. The reason I want to condense information is really to kind of make information that is not <laughs> that is not um important relevant give less emphasis in that and you can do that visually by making like small letters or just a little symbol so you don't need to have eval all the time if you always know that you're talking about evaluation just write a little little arrow um so notation is very very important in the field of mathematics uh, and of course for us this is going to be a very important tool um, there are limitations in maintaining a specification speci uh, specifically in maintaining a specification, which is if you have code and you have a, uh, an abstract description of the algorithm, maintaining that in an, in an ever changing algorithm can be problematic. So that does take some time and effort. Uh, there's also a problem of whether programmers know how to read the specification, but having a specification, is something very important that can really bring up really hard questions which should be addressed as soon as possible. Um, there's also a, a, a balance to be made in between, you know, getting a product ready and getting the specification. You know, if you're just thinking about specification, if you don't have a product, maybe you don't have a business. Um, okay, that's it. In the next video, we're gonna learn about language Lambda S, which is just mini record, the language that we'll learn how to implement. 
Hope you have a good one. Have a good weekend.